Welcome back to another video. Now in this current video, we are going to be addressing the MSAT physics and MSAT mathematics examination, in which we are going to be selecting every single video as part of a series of videos, a question straight from the MSAT math and MSAT physics examination. This will help you as part of your MSAT practice, revision, preparation for your MSAT examination, whether physics or mathematics. In addition, take a look at the video description where we have very important and useful links for videos which are for our members of the channel in addition to links to courses and workshops straight on our academy which have been highly reviewed students are enrolling in the courses and they are seeing results now without further ado make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell in order to stay tuned with all of these releases for every single upcoming question now let's get right to the problem so the following problem is an MSAT physics practice problem. So let's get right to it. A five kilogram mass is lifted from the ground to a height of 10 meters. The gravitational potential energy of the mass is increased approximately by. Now, how do we go about this problem? First of all, in order to recall the gravitational potential energy, gravitational potential energy, the short form is GPE, equals to mass times the acceleration of gravity times the height. Let's take a look at what is given to us. So we do have the mass, which is 5 kilograms. Now, the constant for the acceleration of gravity is 9.81. You should memorize this number. Kilograms meter per second squared. This is the acceleration of gravity. However, uh, some context within the books, they use 10 kilograms meters per second squared, irrespectively. Multiplied by the height, the height is... 10 meters so if you go ahead and crunch these numbers on the calculator you will end up with 490.5 joules the unit for energy is joules so we have the gravitational potential energy for this current problem which is 490.5 joules so how do we represent this graphically in case you're confused how we went about this so we have the following mass which is five kilograms and we just simply picked up the mass to a certain height which is 10 meters now we need to know what is the stored gravitational potential energy going from this point all the way to this point this is where we use the following formula gravitational potential energy equals to the mass times gravity times height now if you take a look at the options that we have we have let's eliminate this is one of the key important tricks that you need to keep in mind as you go about the uh, MSAT examination you might have to eliminate the solutions which are not correct so let's start from the lowest uh, solution that we have does the 0 0.5 meet our answer not really how about 50 also it doesn't work 250 very far how about 500 well 500 is the closest answer to our solution so 500 is going to be the correct answer now if you are wondering how come we got five we got 490.5 instead of 500 like i've mentioned it's because of the acceleration of gravity 9.81 is the international standardized number however some books they utilize 10 so if we replace this for example let's put 10 kilograms meter per second square we will have 5 times 10 times 10 which is going to be 500 joules if we are going to represent or change 9.81 and represent it by 10 instead of 9.81 so you can guess obviously that 
um, the answer falls within the range that we have. It's either 490.5 if you are given the problem with where we where you have to use the international uh, figure for the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81. If not, as you go about selecting the solution, you will come to the conclusion that A, the first choice is the correct answer. Now, I truly hope that you found this current question helpful and beneficial. Now, stay tuned for the upcoming uh, releases in which we are going to have a series, numerous questions that are surely going to support you in terms of the preparation for the MSAT physics and mathematics. Don't forget to take a look at the video description for all of these links related to important courses, workshops, tools, and membership videos. Some videos we are going to be releasing addressing key important questions from the MSAT examination are going to be dedicated for the channel members. So if you're interested in that as well, take a look at the video description for all of these details. In the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe, click and smash that like button, and I'll see you in the upcoming video.